We'll go back to some more Elden Ring 100% and then also the DLC afterwards. Most probably we'll play the DLC, the Earth Tree also 100%. Okay, we're going to make our way back to this location right here, Dragon Barrow West. And we're just going to run up the path here. We're going to find another vendor and also another Grace. So just run up this path here, north. And it will turn left. Right about here. A little higher. Lots of dogs here. Just be careful of pulling them. They are quite challenging right now, so... And then we have another vendor here, and also another Grace. And we're not going to buy anything from this vendor, particularly, so... But we'll check him out. Well... It's been an age since I've seen a customer. How can I help here at the end of the earth? So we can buy stuff. We can buy some dragon moon grease. We can buy more fingers if you want to invade more people. Um, the samurai gear. Wish I could compete against the gear I'm currently wearing. Because, like, we are somewhat a samurai, right? Whoa, what the heck? Whoa. Dude, chill. <laughs> Holy. Anything else for you? A wild goat appeared, man. I don't know if you can get, like, see the set's stats as in, like... Does it give you anything if you wear a full set of whatever, you know? Because I, I don't see anything like that anywhere. I know that this set that I'm wearing right now gives you a little bit of healing. I saw that when I went down uh, to try and get abducted. Um, that... That was the thing. The, the small amounts of heal actually heals quite often, actually. But you need to be, like, lower than 10%, and it takes you back to 10%. So, I don't know. If you have a lot of vigor, this this uh, this set that we're wearing right now could be very useful. You know, to try and prevent you from getting a one last hit. But I think also, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, I would rather take less damage. Or have a set that gives me more damage. Than a set that only heals you if you're lower than 10%. It's it's that kind of thing. I don't think this is where we need to be. I think it's it, there is the large dragon, dude, right in front of us here. But it looks like it's by oh, it's here that we need to go. Okay, so we marked it now. I literally just woke up and uh, ate some peanuts while watching the guide a little bit. What to do next and where we go. Um, but yeah, it's very cold in South Africa at the moment. Like, oof. Very, very cold. And I hope I'm not getting sick. Because it kind of feels like uh, I'm being a little bit sick at the moment. But yeah, I don't really get sick. Um... I'm, I, I just feel, like, drowsy for, like, a day or two. And then it's gone. So here's the big-ass dragon. We're gonna kill this thing. Very soon. That's another dragon laying here. So the other dragons is also heard around them. You can you can you can just kill them if you want. Um, but we're not gonna. I'm just gonna grab this uh, this place. Uh, we're gonna increase our vigor. Hopefully we don't have that much money. We have s almost nine k still. Whatever. We'll we'll do it. We'll try and do it. 
I'm not okay losing 9k, but yeah. So we're going to run in here. We want to get there, so we're going to just run straight to the left here and instantly use it. So you most probably will get poisoned um, if you get a little bit lost. This, er this, this area is extremely dangerous. We're gonna go down here. Wait, there's a chest. I forgot to pick this up. This is the other half of the medallion that we needed. So we're gonna stick to the left side here and there will be ghosts spawning. Okay, one spawned. Oh, that arrow tracks me, dude. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to wait here and see if anyone's coming. Give it a few seconds. It's kind of like we're out of combat at the moment. I'm gonna just jump over here. Oh, there's the ghost. So once we're here, we're gonna just trigger the big, uh, the big one to come. I killed something below there also. I think it's one of the bats. I hit one of the rings or something. The big one still didn't join, though. We want him to drop down here. Big one will drop down. So we'll just jump across. And there should be no enemies here left. And we got the Radagons sore seal and over here you could just tp out even though you're in combat so the radagon sore seal is an upgraded version of the one we're currently using so we're currently using the radagon's uh, scar seal and you see the sore seal will give you even more stats it gives you two of each more the equipment load uh, total also goes up because your endurance goes up so it's very nice in my opinion to actually have this um, so we're going to change to this one. Now, I'm not too sure if you can use both, if it stacks. I think... Oh, you can't. Okay, so you can only choose one or the other. Um, raise your stamina and speed recovery. You can also use this thing to increase your equip load um, and HP. Uh, you can see our HP went up by roughly, I would say... That's about 5%. And your equip load will also increase quite a bit though. But I'm going to keep for now uh, the stamina recovery. And uh, what we're going to do right now is going to kill the dragon. Uh, there's no hidden quest that people are aware of, at least, uh, about this dragon. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick to this wall. And then get on this location here. We shouldn't. Okay, I think we ran to the wrong place. I don't know if they changed this method or... it's It's been updated or patched. Because you can kill that big-ass dragon here. Maybe it's running here. Oh yeah, it's running here. So you hit its back leg. 
So he's been fused into the ground. As you can see, we're like doing zero damage, bro. So the best thing to do here is to use R1. Because we're gonna go for the bleed procs. You need to use a weapon with wrath or bleed. So the bleed proc ones, you can see over there, it's like, oof, takes forever. Waiting for the stamina to come up. Big proc there. This will be a decent amount of vigor we're going to get for killing him. But it takes roughly five minutes to kill, so... Another bleed proc. Safer to hit from here. But it's so slippery. Keep falling backwards. your inventory boost rune uh, boost runes how much runes you get and there we go so you get five dragon hearts and look at our money, dude. 107,000 runes. So yeah, it takes roughly 5 minutes, but make sure you also use that increase your rune chance drop. Uh, because it's worth it, you know? you get. I think you get close to double the amount for killing him. So we're going to level up here. We're going to take our vigor all the way to 40. Uh, or at least as close to as we can get. We're going to take it to 40 first. Um, and then I think we're going to go with uh, these three stats. We're going to take it all to 25, I would say. And we might just leave it endurance then afterwards and then just focus on uh, strength and dex. Uh, but we'll see. We shall see. First, first things first. Uh, 40 vigor. Okay, the next area we go to is all the way back here. To the main gate academy. And over there we're going to uh, buy a summon. That's going to be very important for us. 
So we're just going to run down this way. It's going to be wolves along the way. All the way at the end, there's going to be a vendor. And here's the vendor. Just remember not to jump on them. Oh, I heard that was close. As I say it. <laughs> seen a customer how can i help here at the end of the earth that's what the previous guy said what do you mean it's end of the earth so we need to use, uh buy the summon two fanged imp spirits so there's more stuff you can buy here uh we'll buy the keys also just for in case we're gonna open up more doors and yeah you guess that we will so so now that this is done. A safe journey. Thanks, bro. Um we're gonna go all the way back here. Uh to the ravine veiled village. Decent shirts here where we need to go. If it's not, we'll just teleport again. It's not a big deal. It takes literally five seconds, dude. Okay, we're gonna head on up here. Which, in theory, we should have done when we came here, but it's okay. So we're going to make our way up here, and then we're just going to get two uh, smithing stones. I'm honestly wondering if I should change my weapon also. I mean, I like this weapon. But the thing is, though... I don't know if you guys want to see some change, to be honest. By the time you guys watch this, I'm like 10 videos ahead with recording, so... We need that membership, guys. We need to get and become a member, like have members, you know? And to do that, we need 500 subscribers. By the way, the weapon bounces off him. Uh, the reason being is because it's not two-handed. Um, so yeah, we're getting the smithing stone 4 and another smithing stone. So, I don't know, maybe the two-handed bolts are just a little bit better. And we can obviously two-hand this weapon, but if we do that, then we need to change out our shield uh, to be the turtle shield. One of my viewers told me that if you have the turtle shield on your back, you get extra stamina recovery. Uh, so, didn't know that. It doesn't say any passive effects there at the bottom. I don't know how people know this or figure this out, but... That's the thing. So if we're gonna switch out our shield, um, this will be a shield that will be on our back and we'll just play two-handed. However, if we come here... Oh. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms then. We can actually increase our weapon that we might want to use. So we'll increase the... This a bit. Uh, so let's see. I think I put away that weapon. Just go get it quickly. So, chest. Get to weapons. How do we get to the other side, though? Huh? What? <laughs> um... Sort, help, switch menu tab. Uh, switch chest, triangle. There we go. So this weapon right here. Thing is though, we can't use it yet. Um, because we don't have the strength. 
Uh, but it's okay, because if you're two-handed, you get more strength anyway. So with the shield, we're going to get stamina recovery on our backs. So as long as we always make sure we are two-handing, it should be okay. You need 26 strength, so... Uh, the other thing I need to talk about is the fact that we need to use runes here. We have so much runes, it's not even a joke. Um... And we also have our Remembrance, so we're not going to use this. So I told you guys you have three options when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to... Uh, what's it called? Let's see, even three. When it comes to gear, right? There's two items you can get by the two-finger lady. Uh, or you can uh, use it for runes. So we used it for 20k runes. Uh, that's what we just did there. Uh, we're going to level up here. Uh, take our strength higher. We only got one level. Um, let's see. It doesn't look very useful that I'm doing this right now. Uh, let's upgrade the weapon. Well, I took you for no match. Lay out your arms then. So upgrade this weapon. Now we need smithing stone fives, but the weapon now is plus 14, which is really high damage, actually. Um, as long as we get our strength up. So right now we're going to head to, I think it's one of these locations. No, 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 it's over here. The Church of Choco. I think it might be that one. No, no, it's the schoolhouse classroom. So we'll head there. I'm going to check if I two-hand this weapon, whether it will be... It doesn't show that X anymore. So the second attack was shielded, so that's why we didn't do much damage. So there's a chest here. We got a scroll. Craftsman cookbook. And we just hit this. It's a hidden wall. Smithing stone 4. We're going to drop down here. And then you'll get the helmet here if you're a caster. Um, or, or an intellect bolt. Uh, you want to get this helmet. So we're going to hop up here. Well away hidden. You get the helmet. You sacrifice... I, I can't remember what it is, but you sacrifice something to get more intellect. And now we're just back to where we started. So, the helmet here. Um, also got this one earlier. But yeah, the helmet here is this one right here. Uh, you can see you're sacrificing VS Strike. I think. No, no, you're sacrificing HP. You sacrifice about 150 HP uh, for three more intellect. So you could choose, you know, choose your poison. If you're a caster, you must probably want to use that because intel is your main stat. Actually forgot, we need to put up a... We're gonna spawn these enemies again. Sorry about that. Um, we're gonna we need to put up a ash of war on this weapon because I don't think I have yet. Uh, is it ground slam? I'm not too sure. 
I need to check what it is, to be honest. So we're going to use this one right here. Uh, Ashavor Horse Frost Stump. And we're going to put this on Heavy because it scales with Strength. You can see the weapon scaling uh, changes from B to A on a Strength. If you take Keen, it's going to scale more with Dexterity. And if you take Quality, it's going to scale with both, but less, right? So... Just keep that in mind. So we're gonna we're gonna go with heavy here. Um, so the weapon itself should do a lot more damage now, and not just that, but we'll we'll have an L2 button um, that will also do an AOE damage. Stop blocking, my buddy. There we go, take care of them. Uh, this part is a little bit harder. Um, we'll see how it goes, though. So, we're gonna take care of the pot guy. them it's a little bit of a hard zone uh to be honest but i think we're doing fine at the moment you clearly see also this weapon is doing pretty decent damage no i don't want to i don't want your book to slap me okay yes i heard of the lord okay don't have to tell me about them. Okay, so we got their glintstone sword, which could be very good, very good. So that's not the secret wall. Maybe it's up here. Oh, wait, there's, there's loot down there. I think it didn't grab it. Yeah. We're looking for another secret passage. I don't know if it's down there, but I think it might be up here, actually. There we go. And right here, we're going to drop down twice. Well, we're going to climb the ladder first. Get Comet, which is a decent ability. And we got another Stone Sword Key of Doom. That's what I'm talking about. So, jump across and drop, drop down. And then we're going to drop down again. And we'll pick this up. Graven. Graven School Talisman. You can see already, like, this weapon is doing really good damage, though. Um, we haven't even tried the charge attack yet, but I think it's really good. I think this door you can only up open up from this side. So you can see that we are below, where we killed all the mages. And we're gonna just make our way up again. And then we should be able to fight the the uh, bus in this area. I don't think there's a closer uh, place where you can rest. So yeah. yeah, this is a very aggressive enemy. So let's see what's going to happen.
So you can see the R2 is really doing some work on him. And I didn't even buff, right? I should have maybe buffed also. I just used the fire uh, on the weapon. Uh, when I'm talking about buffing, I'm talking about the other um, ability. We use this. Well, why can't I use it? Maybe we don't have enough mana. <laughs> Let me check. Well, we can't use it on this weapon. Okay, that, that sucks. Right? Yeah, look at him. It's like, what? Let's put that thing away, dude. <laughs> okay, so we can't use that on this weapon. So that really sucks, though. So we did technically full buff then. Uh, we don't have an arc, so... A rune arc. Maybe we should do that quickly. Items. Uh, no, I think I have it here. That would just be a lot better for now. Okay. Gonna head out this way. We're gonna clear out a lot of stuff here, guys. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. First of all, we're gonna hop out to the right side. Whee. We climb up here and grab the stuff that's here. So, by the way, you need to do this to get platinum. Crystal bud. Uh, this this is the item you need for platinum. Radagon's icon. No other loots here. But over here. Stranger. Okay, now that that's done, we could just drop down here. Got a few fat guys to kill. Hey, chill, chill, chill. Oh, chill, dude. Catch a breather. You know, give me a chance to also attack my 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 puppy. Crackpot there. And then we're going to make our way down. Don't go up there just yet. Don't even look at it. <laughs> Got the stone key. Um, there's a big enemy here we'll go for later. Um, first we're gonna head up here. Oh, there's balls that's gonna spawn. And they're gonna try and kill you. So we're gonna just wait here for the next one. There you go. Easy peasy. A lemon squeezy. Now this is going to be a tricky or a hard part. Um, we're going to just uh, use this. This guy can parry you and it will hurt a lot.
Okay. Goodies. Shield. Uh, that way is to the boss. We're not going to do that. We're going to open up a shortcut first and do a lot of stuff here. There's actually a lot to do here, so... Got a gold rune. I don't think we need to go to the left here. Yeah, I don't think... We, yeah, we don't need anything here. So to this side, we're going to jump across and uh, get in here and open up this door. This is already one of this uh, one of the shortcuts we open now. We have 32,000 uh, runes to spend again, so we need to do that. We're going to get our strength up to 30, then we're going to get our decks up to 30, most probably. I don't think I have to... Well, that's unfortunate that he didn't die. Sorry about that. So our power just went off. Uh, so we're on battery power now. So, yeah. But by killing these guys up here, uh, the ball is going to stop rolling. So just keep that in mind. That's why we came here. Is to make also uh, that a possibility. So the ball will not go down. The Glen Scarab, uh, this will make it that you um, take more damage, uh, but your abilities do more damage, I think. This, yeah, it's something like that. So it's, again, everything we're getting now is for mages. Like, all the loot we're getting now is purely just for mages. And uh, we're going to run this way. I also want to just get my if, uh, mana up here. Um. Okay, there we go. HP up, mana up. I'm gonna just run this way. We're running closer to the area that I said don't look at. So this is another uh, door, I think, that you couldn't open before. I'm not too sure. Oh. You can see this... Oh my goodness, dude. This weapon has decently nice reach. me. Don't die, though. Please. We come in here. Uh, we're getting this loot. The Glenstone. And uh, we just clear out this area. So, for now, we can actually get their... Yeah, we're getting their gear. That's pretty nice. We're gonna drop down here. And then we're gonna take out this guy. Grab this. We're gonna drop down this roof at some point, guys. Not for now. Um, but yeah, there is loot there. I know. We'll get that soon. This guy is like, bro, I need to go through the door. But I'm not gonna open it for you. So there we go. So now we have another shortcut, if I'm not mistaken. So now we can go this way. Um, up here, actually. There's a lot of zombos there. another rune so we might get more of their gear and then there's a threat in the middle we'll get them now it's one of those spinner runes dudes we can use our summon here to be honest it might be the better option gonna 
this one. Oh man, I should have rolled. Should have done something. And this one again. It's going to win, baby. So both my uh, dudes are down. It's going again. Both my skeletons were down, but they stood up again, right? So. Looks like they'll only attack stuff that is uh, we're in combat with, so it does make sense. We've got a lot of goodies over here that we can grab. I don't see anything else, though. I don't see anything else, though. Okay, there's nothing else here. Okay, so now we're just going to make our way this side. We're going to get a golden seed. Golden seed of doom. And we're going to get a big crab here. Okay. I'm sleeping. Sleeping again. Bro, you're sleeping for like a half a second, bro. Like, <laughs> so bad. I want to go this way, but I'm scared my skeletons will disappear. I think they will. Okay, we got golden rune here. That's pretty much all we get there. And now this way. Kill this crab for your mages out there. This is the second headpiece we're getting. Uh, the first one takes your uh, HP down. This one will take your stamina down. Uh, but they give the same effect. So maybe stamina is a little bit more, you know, user friendly, to be honest. I would rather lose stamina than I would lose HP. So just keep that in mind. So that takes care of this whole area here. Um, at least as best of my knowledge. Uh, we're also going to go down, apparently down. Oh, let's loot there. So might as well go grab that now. I don't have to run here again. I'll just use the shortcut for now. Another smithing stone five. You see over there is where we went down and got abducted. So pretty cool. Uh, this place is absolutely insanely huge, man. Like, huge. And, yeah. That's just uh, the case. Um, let's see where we're going next. Okay, it's time for the rooftops, dude. So, um, let's just uh, teleport back to the classroom. Is it the classroom? No, it's not the classroom. It's the one... Next to it, debate baller. So don't have to deal with these guys again. Yeah, here we go. Uh, also, we want to use our runes, man. Like, we're going to jump quite a bit around. Uh, we can also increase our flask here. So we have another flask. Uh, we may... Yeah, I don't know. We'll take two, yeah. Uh, so level up here. We're going to increase our vigor. We're almost at 40, so that's really nice. Uh, we need like 5k more, but it's okay. So now we're just going to sprint here um, to the rooftops. Which is... Over here. Well done. Okay, so jump to the rooftops. Trying to go through this as fast as I can because, like, our power is off. So if my video just ends in the middle of nowhere, you guys would know, right? My power is off. My 
power is off, and that's why we're just in the middle of nowhere. But obviously, I'll continue on once I get back. Once I have power again. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't climb up yet. Uh, we want to grab the goodie that's here. Rune 4. Now we go up. Uh, this is a little bit uh, of a tricky situation. You want to pull these guys to you. Uh, because they are troublesome. I want to kill that mage that is now looking this way. Never mind. Yeah, the mage saw us. No, it didn't. The mage didn't see us. Shut up. Pretty nice weapon uh, to, to pull them with. We almost do like half their HP. Okay, this mage does a lot of damage. Okay. So just make sure you dodge that ability because it can multi-hit you and it could be detrimental. <laughs> Run across. Got a goodie here. Meet your bolt. Uh, a night sky. Looks nice. So... I think we're going on this roof. Yeah. We're going to get that loot up there. Uh, to do that, we're going to drop down. Now, this is where the tricky jump is. Because it's it's actually very hard to get there. Now, what you can do is you can change your... Um, you can change your load to, lo uh, to, to, to low load. We should maybe do that. Uh, light load right there. And then you, you jump a little bit further. There we go. And then we'll put our load up again. I almost, dude, I almost jumped backwards. I press circle. <laughs> oh, man. So, it should be like this. Fairly easy to do for me. Okay. This one could be troublesome. Let's just heal. Okay, we got him. Jumping across here. Okay. So now we're on this way. We got way across. climb this. Now we're going to get that loot that's up there. Gotta go fast, baby. Like, these ladders is nothing still compared to what which game was that? Metal Gear Solid, Metal, Metal Gear Solid 3? I think. We got the full moon crossbow. I don't think we can drop down. Oh yeah, we should get that loot still up there. So yeah, we should be able to drop down somewhere. Right over here. And there, I think that's... Is it this? Smithing stone 4. It's only here we could go. Yeah, it was the loot we saw. Yeah, okay, so that's nice. 
So we're back on the rooftop we were before when we went that way. Now we're going to go this way. And we're just going to drop down. Drop it like it's hot. Whoa, it looked like there was two of them inside each other. I think. Another golden rune four. So that's it for here. Okay. Uh, we could go either left or right from here. We'll just go to the right. Got some more loot here. The imbued sword key. Jump across again. Got some more loot here. A somber stone three. Just gotta jump our way back. Oh my goodness, this is so scary. I'm a good person, please don't hurt me. Got a ladder here. Uh... Yeah, we should go down there also. Yeah, we should just go down first. And climb up the ladder again. We're gonna get a... Stone that is being covered by crabs here, so... Obviously, you don't have to <laughs> kill the crabs. Now we just have to climb this tedious ladder again. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> And then we're going to jump across where these two enemies were broken. Where are they walking now, dude? So we can go there, but I don't think there's any loot there. I'm going to go here. Don't fall off, though. Shut up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make our way across here. There's nothing on the other side. Uh, we'll just check. Other than two enemies. It's just chilling up there. There's nothing on the side, so we're just gonna leave. Um, okay, so there's loot here. So, room three. And then there's loot right on this. Uh, right on this light. There we go. And then that's done. There's going to be quite a few enemies here, guys. Just be careful. Okay, so now we're going to go this way. This guy is very tough. So I'm going to use this. He might use bolts on you. Explosive arrows. There we go. Okay. Get a high page clothes from him. I think it's a chance on drop that. And then we get the Azure Glenstone Staff. So I think the Glenstone Staff, it, it increases your damage by like 8%, but it increases your um, ability cost by 15. So if you do just want to do more damage, but you don't care about your mana usage, obviously you could use that. And I think that takes care of this area. I think we did everything that I at least know of over here. Oh yeah, there's this also. How could I forget? 
Uh, if you kill this crab, uh, it will be the twin glenstone crown. Uh, this is the double hit piece. Um, and what it will do is it will uh, increase your um, intel by double the amount, which is six. You can see over there. Oh, they changed it here. It's now four. No, 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 no. It's three, four. Yeah, so it's uh, three plus four, which is seven. Uh, but you lose both then, stamina and HP. Uh, so it's a it's a, a double-edged sword, if that makes sense. If you just want the highest intel, you'll obviously use that. So there's one last thing we need to do over here, and that's kicking down a ladder. Because we are in the very first... Uh, there we go. So kick ladder. So we entered there, and we ran straight to a... Uh, what's the name? Um... A bonfire, pretty much. <laughs> a grace. Um, we're above that church now. So we did all the rooftop that I know of. And uh, yeah. We have we have four minutes, three minutes left on this, in this video, guys. Like, I'm scared. My power is off right now. So I'm going to just check where we're going next. And then we'll end the video there. Actually, we'll just do it quickly. Uh, goodness, dude, there's so many graces. What the heck? It's actually here somewhere. Uh, Lake Facing Cliffs. That's where we're heading right now. And we're just gonna hand in a quest. And then we'll head back to classroom, most probably. So we're looking for this broken church here. This is where area. One of the vendors will be that we've been to earlier. Back to learn another. Wonderful. You're most welcome to any of my anemic little spells. To talk. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. Oh right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital, and the south gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the Academy. And you'll never reach the Erdtree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a bluntstone. Nary a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, my place is at the Academy. Are you certain you're willing to give your glintstone key to me? My, oh my. Thank you. Thank you dearly. Now I can go back to the Academy to resume my study of glintstone sorceries. And the very stars. <laughs> so we get another emote, which will unlock another room eventually. So... And another? Why, of course. We have another glintstone key. We're going to give him one only, by the way. So yeah, I can just learn some sorceries here. I don't know if he upgrades eventually. You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. 
that Selen was expelled from the Academy, accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers, under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. Alrighty then, so that's gonna wrap this video up here. I'm just gonna teleport back to the classroom. I think we need to go to the classroom. So guys, if you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.